welcome back. Dr. Ilana Gelman here, naturopathic doctor. So last week we went over what leaky gut is, and I really wanted you guys to just understand this concept and this condition because a lot of people are curious about it and a lot of people think that they may have it. Now I got a great follow-up question, of course, is well, how do you treat it? What do you do? Well, I'm not diagnosing anyone right now, but I am wanting to just give you guys some information so you guys can do some more research, you guys can feel empowered with your health, because that's why I do these, these videos. So I do want to go into detail with what I've been taught to really help you guys understand what you can do to really help heal your gut. Now, we learn is as follows. There's the four R's that we follow. The four R's is to remove offending foods, repair the gut, restore the gut flora, and replace what the gut needs. Now, there's a lot of information for each of these four steps. So I'm gonna do each individual video, so just keep an eye out for each week. Come to follow, because I really wanna give you guys the good juicy goodness, okay, that comes along with all of this information. So the first one today I'm gonna to talk about for this week is the first step, and that's to remove. Now, in this first step, we remove any offending foods or any toxins that you, in your diet that could be acting as stressors on your system. Now, this means caffeine, alcohol, processed foods, any kind of bad fats, or any foods that you may think may be causing issues for you that could be causing inflammation in the gut. Now, anything that could be thought as irritants or anything that could be stress on your system will be causing that inflammatory response. And that's what's causing those cells that we want to be so tightly joint to be irritated enough where then they become separated and then that's what causes that leaky, leaky gut where foods start going through those cells. Now, I will like, like to mention is that sometimes we don't know what the irritating foods are in our diet. So you've got two things that you could do. You can either visit a naturopathic doctor and get a food sensitivity panel. You want to always ask for an IgG panel. Those are the specific immunoglobulins that you want to test for. But it's not gold standard. It's a good way of just getting some information and it really has helped me clinically with my patients. But I always stress to my patients that the most gold standard type of testing for you to understand what food sensitivities you have is called the elimination diet. And that's when you take out the most common seven foods that we tend to find being most sensitive to. We take them out for the four to six weeks and then we reintroduce them one at a time. Now, then you can assess whether your body is um, reactive to it or not, reacting to it or not. So the top seven most common food sensitivities we know of is wheat, but mostly gluten. So that really crosses into other grains. Dairy, coming from cows specifically, so that's your cheese, your milk, um, all dairy products. Corn is a, is a typical sensitivity. Soy is number four. Peanuts is a number five. Um, number six is, I'm looking at my notes, eggs. I always forget about eggs. And then number seven is sugar or any other artificial um, sh sweeteners. That's your seven most common food sensitivities. We get a lot of that in our diet. So gold standards to eliminate those seven offending foods that can really, really be causing havoc on our digestive tract, seeing how you do for six weeks, and then reintroducing them one at a time. Okay, so that's the first R in really helping to heal that gut lining, okay, for leaky gut. So next week, we'll go ahead and continue on the four R's. All right, hopefully that was helpful, and I look forward to sharing more information as the weeks go on. All right, have a great week, everyone. Bye-bye.